There's no such thing as a dumb question, but I'm also here to help answer some of the questions you might be wondering but are too shy to ask. Today, we've got the dumb cruise ship cabin questions up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RealCaribbeanBlog.com. And look, we all come from cruising from different angles and we were all at one point a new cruiser. Totally get it. We're not here to shame anybody, but inevitably you're going to run across some questions that might make you scratch your head, like whether or not the crew members sleep on board the ship or if it's easy to fall off your balcony. There's all sorts of just, you know, certainly newbie questions that to a veteran cruiser might seem a little strange. It's understandable that first time cruisers have many questions. After all, Cruise cabins are very different than hotel rooms in size, amenities, service, and categories. So consider the questions in this video here as your personal cruise ship cabins for dummies. I promise you'll probably feel better about it and more confident about booking a cruise after you've read it. Starting with number one, what is a stateroom on a cruise ship? A stateroom on a cruise ship in is another word for your cabin. The two words are used interchangeably. In a cruise stateroom, you'll find a bed, bathroom, couch, or chair, desk, and vanity. The biggest suites include additional features like a jacuzzi, espresso maker, and multiple bedrooms. There are four main cabin categories on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Interior rooms, which are small rooms with no windows, balcony, or porthole view to the outside. Ocean view, which are slightly larger rooms that have a porthole looking out to the ocean. Balcony, a cabin with a private balcony. And then a suite, which is an upgraded room with larger spaces and added perks. Every passenger on board must select a stateroom category when booking a cruise. Balcony cabins are probably the most popular, although interior and ocean view rooms are great for those on a budget. Suites, on the other hand, are the most expensive, but they also offer the most luxurious cruise experience. How big are cruise ship cabins is our next question. The size of a cruise ship cabin varies depends on the cabin and the ship you book. Older ships, generally speaking, have smaller cabins, whereas newer ships feature the most space around, especially for suites. Some ships may also have spacious cabins, which are available in every category that we mentioned earlier, such as spacious ocean view cabins, and they provide more square footage space than a standard one. In addition, accessible rooms are significantly larger than standard cabins, but they're designed for guests with disabilities, and these rooms range between 159 to 298 square feet. You can expect to see the following cabin sizes on Royal Caribbean, although the exact size will differ by ship and stateroom type. Interior rooms are around 136 to 172 square feet. Ocean view cabins are between 170 and 182 square feet. And balcony cabins are somewhere between 179 and 204 square feet with a balcony space of probably 40 to 50 square feet. The size of a Royal Caribbean suite can vary drastically depending on which type you book. Junior suites come in at 243 square feet with a 74 square foot balcony on Royal Caribbean's oldest ships and the newest ships in the fleet, on the other hand, feature two-story suites with over a 1,000 square feet of living space. Number three, how many people can stay in a cruise ship cabin? Most Royal Caribbean cruise cabin accommodations can usually accommodate between two and four guests. To accommodate more than two people in a room, your cabin will have a sofa bed, Pullman bed, or bunk bed. A limited number of family staterooms may be available on your ship, which can accommodate up to five or even six guests. Not all cabins can accommodate more than two guests, though. So it's important to book early if you know you need more than two guests in the room. Before doing so, however, check the price of two connecting rooms instead of cramming all your guests into one room. Connecting cabins have a door in between the two rooms that allow you to access both cabins without stepping into the hallway. Occasionally, putting two guests in each connecting cabin is the same price or even less than booking everybody in one room. It seems crazy, but it's really the truth. Next question. Does an Ocean View cabin have a balcony? Ocean View cabins on Royal Caribbean cruise ships do not have a balcony. Instead, they have a private porthole facing the ocean. If you want a balcony, you need to book a balcony cabin or a suite. Despite the lack of a balcony, many people do enjoy ocean view cabins because the porthole brings natural light and views to the cabin at a reasonable price and it's certainly nicer than a tiny windowless interior room. Our next question is how big is a cruise ship cabin bed? Most Royal Caribbean cruise cabins have a king size bed, although in reality, the bed is made from two twin beds placed together. You can choose to have your bed separated or together depending on your travel party. If you need your bed separated or put together, call housekeeping once on board to request the change. There are studio cabins, which are cabins just for one solo guest, and they either have a twin size or a full size bed. Twin size cabins on Radiance and Voyager class ships have a twin size bed, whereas the solo rooms on Quantum and Oasis class ships have a full size bed. And of course, being a solo room, these rooms are also smaller in general. Next question, is there a hairdryer in the room? All Royal Caribbean cruise ship cabins come with a hairdryer, although 
it's probably not as powerful as the hair dryer you have at home. You can usually find the hair dryer in one of the drawers that's in your room, but a lot of people end up bringing their own because again, the hair dryers real cream provides are pretty underpowered. Next question, can I get more towels and how do I get more towels? Your Royal Caribbean stateroom attendant will replenish your bath towels each day when they come to clean your cabin. If you need more towels, then you have two options. Number one, ask your stateroom attendant for extra towels when you see him or her in the hallway, or call housekeeping and request that additional towels be brought to your cabin. If you know you're gonna need additional towels every day of the cruise, be sure to let your stateroom attendant know on embarkation day. That way they'll have the right amount off the bat. Next question, when does my stateroom attendant clean my cabin? Most cabins are cleaned once per day by a stateroom attendant on board. If you're staying in a suite though, your cabin will be cleaned twice a day. You can choose to either have your cabin service in the morning or evening. Housekeeping services usually take less than 15 minutes during which your stateroom attendant picks up the cabin and toiletries and towels. Next question that's really common is why didn't my room get cleaned? On the inside of your cabin door is a two-sided magnet. One side of the magnet has the words outcashing thrills, please make up my room. And the other side says sleeping off the adventure, please do not disturb. Putting this magnet on the outside of your cabin door lets your stateroom attendant know when they're able to clean your cabin. Occasionally, people forget to switch the magnet from do not disturb, so the stateroom attendant will not enter the cabin. If this happens to you, you can always call housekeeping, within cleaning hours, of course, to have your room serviced. Or if you see your stateroom attendant in the hallway, ask them if they're able to clean your room still. Another really common first-time cruise question about cabins is, is there a TV in the room? All Royal Caribbean cruise cabins have a TV. On the TV, you can watch a number of channels, including BBC World News, Fox News, MSNBC, Sky News, ESPN, and ESPN2, among other channels. The exact offerings really do depend on the ship and its location. If you're selling through remote areas, these channels may not be available because, of course, of outages. In addition to major news outlets, you'll find a channel providing information on your sailing, which includes a live stream from the ship's bridge and a map of the itinerary. Some ships allow people to actually order movies on demand for an extra charge, as well as your pass account, some safety and security information, and view the room service menu. Next common question is, do I have to share a bathroom with anybody else on the ship? Thankfully, cruise ships are not hostels, woo! But you will not have to share a bathroom with other passengers other than who is ever in your room with you. Every cabin on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship has a private bathroom and you'll find a toilet, sink, and shower. Suite category cabins also have a bathtub and can actually have more than one bathroom. Next question a lot of people wanna know is, what is that spaceship sound? If you hear a whoosh sound every often, on a Royal Caribbean ship, don't be alarmed, it's just the toilet. Royal Caribbean toilets use a suction system to minimize the water needed to flush. So as a result, just like on an airplane, flushing your cruise cabin toilet can be very loud. It's so loud, in fact, you actually hear the flushing noise from the cabins around you. Another really common question is, should I be scared of falling off the balcony? It's a really common fear for first-timers that they'll accidentally fall off their balcony into the ocean below. But this is so extremely unlikely. The railings on Royal Caribbean's balcony cabins around four feet tall, meaning it's practically impossible to accidentally fall off as if you're in a Scooby-Doo cartoon in which you're just minding your own business and whoop, fall over. Doesn't happen. Now, while you may see stories in the media about people that are overboard from a ship, in these situations, it's always the case of somebody being where they're not supposed to or doing something where they're not supposed to do or just purposely climbing on the balcony railing. Additionally, balcony doors have a manual lock located high in the door frame. So if you're cruising with kids, you can use this lock to prevent kids from accessing the balcony on their own. Another very common cruise question is, can other ships see into my cabin while docked in port? If you have a balcony or ocean view room on your cruise, you really should take extra precaution because yes, these windows are not one-way windows. If your cabin faces the ship docked next to yours, passengers on that ship can indeed see into your balcony and if your curtains are open into your cabin. So before you get changed or walk around your cabin without wearing clothes, double check to make sure that no one can see into your cabin from the outside. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, people want to know, do crew members sleep on board? It's perhaps the silliest question we're asked about cruise ship cabins, but it's asked anyway, is whether or not the crew members sleep on board the ship. Of course they sleep on board. Where else would they go in the middle of the ocean? There are specific areas on board reserved just for crew members, including crew cabins, a crew buffet, crew gym, and even a crew bar. These spaces are usually on the bottom decks of the ship. Crew cabins are not designed in the same way as guest cabins. They're much smaller, and many crew members share a room. Yes, on a Royal Caribbean cruise cannot access crew areas, including the cabins. There you have it. Some of the really dumb cruise ship cabins we are asked. And you know what? It's okay because we all started off as newbies as well. And I hope that this answers maybe a question you were wondering about. Now you can save yourself the embarrassment of having to ask somebody. You can just watch this video instead. If you like this video, found it helpful, or just enjoyed it, hit the like button below our video. It really does help us out. And subscribe to our channel. That way you get notified when there's a brand new YouTube video. 
This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.